so today is Saturday, July 29th, and I am here at the Pacific Northwest Mouse Meet. So this is a convention or an event that they hold every year. Um, I've never been to it, but it's been going on for quite a few years. And I just found out about it last year, and I couldn't get tickets because they were sold out. So I decided to get tickets early this year. So I'm gonna come in here and check this out. Um, they have some guest speakers and stuff and um, vendors, and they said pin trading. So I've got, I've got a bunch of pins here that I'm gonna be trading, maybe, we'll see. Um, so it's time for me to go get my badge, my lanyard and all that. So let's go in there and see what this is all about. I really don't know what to, what to expect. Okay, so I just checked in. I got my my guest badge, and then they have this really cool map. It kind of looks like an Adventureland map, where you can see the lobby. Uh, they have the stage area. This is the dining area. A few other little things here we got to check out, and then this is where the vendors are. So we'll definitely go down there too. But yeah, let's go take a look at this. So this is the main stage area. This is where the guests will be speaking. And then behind me we have the area where you can eat and they have a, a couple other few booths there too. All right, so I'm already back outside. So I already bought some five by sevens of an artist who does Disney artwork. I'll show you those later. <laughs> really nice stuff. I got a link to his website too. Um, but they have all this cool, like you can do bingo and um, they have a bunch of trivia uh, questions posted all over the place that you can go and you write down the answers. And if you fill out your sheet, then you turn it in and you get a prize. I don't know what the prize is, but you need a pen to fill it out. And <laughs> I'm walking around like the only one without a pen, so I have one in my car, so I'm going back out to my car to get a pen so I can actually play these little games. Okay, so I have a pen in hand now. Now I can do these. So they have this bingo sheet, um, and then you just have to get a bunch of guests that are around here to sign it. So, you know, like I got one guy, he came up to me and said, you want me to sign that? I'm like, sign what? I don't even understand. I haven't even looked at this yet. So he dined at Club 33, so he signed, and then someone else took the subway, or the Skyway buckets, and has sat in the front cab of the monorail. I've done a few of these. Uh, I've, I do collect press pennies, I've dined at Blue Bayou, I've been in front of the castle at Park Closing, and I have definitely eaten more than two churros in one day. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And then they have this, uh, Here's the trivia. Um, so they have, looks like 16 little kind of hidden Mickey signs around the area of the convention, and then they have questions, and then you answer the questions and you turn it in for a prize. So I'm gonna go work on this right now um, and see. I saw a couple of questions and some of them I didn't know. So I'm gonna have to go look at them and see which ones I know. So I'm gonna go back in now. <laughs> I am back outside. I had some lunch. Um, I had actually my lunch was uh, churros and a pretzel. So really good nutritious lunch there, but they're really good. The churros, I don't know if they got the same uh, vendor as what's at Disneyland, but they were super good. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm actually very full now. Uh, but the first speaker was Michael Varga, who is the uh, he works for D23 and fan clubs uh, industry, not industry, but the fan club division. And so he had a bunch of, he had a presentation on fan clubs starting from like the 1930s um, onto, you know, present day. Um, so really cool videos, really funny video from the 80s. I couldn't take video of the 
the speaker that's not allowed, so I didn't get any video of that. But yeah, really funny video of some uh, travel brochure, travel agency video from the 80s. It was, it was great. <laughs> Uh, but the cool thing is he, he had really good stories, lots of cool stuff to show us. And then at the end, he said that we're all getting, on the way out, we're all going to get the new uh, 23 magazine for this month, for the, what D23 members already get. But we're going to get that on the way out. And then a pin set. <laughs> so we're all getting a pin set on the way out of the event tonight. I bought a bunch of little 5x7 prints from one of the artists in here, and then they had a big pin table. One of the vendors is a bunch of pins, so I went through that, their entire pin tables, a couple of times, and I picked out about five or six, and I traded a few more, so we'll see if I can go trade anymore. So now the next speaker at two o'clock is the voice of Minnie Mouse. So I'm going to go in there now and get a seat and see what she has to say. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. So I'm up on floor five. You can kind of look down at the, the area where you can eat. That's where I ate my churro lunch. <laughs> and down here is where the main stage is at. So that's where the voice of Minnie Mouse will be talking here in about 30 minutes. So I'll take one of those seats. And then they had a room door decorating contest for the people who were staying at the hotel. And the winner of the contest is way down in that corner. So I'm going to go take a look at that. So we have some right here. There were a few honorable mentions and then a few uh, third place, second place, and first place. I thought this one was really cool. It's all lit up. Very nice. You can see random doors over there just <laughs> decorated. Wow, some of them are pretty fancy. But yeah, here is the winner of the door decorating contest. It is the Winnie the Pooh one. Look at this. Wow, we got like the the beehive up there. We've got the stack of honey buckets, and we've got Winnie the Pooh. Oh yeah, right there. First place, 2023. Look at that. That's awesome. And then even the door is Mr. Sanders is hung up on the door. So. Very cool. So, Caitlin Robrock, who is the current voice of Minnie Mouse, uh, she had a great presentation. It was a lot about, you know, her story on how she became the new voice of Minnie Mouse. And it was, it was really cool. Just all the stuff she went through to, to get that role. And, and she did a lot of uh, the Minnie Mouse voice for us. It was, it was a lot of fun. Look at this one. This one's pretty cool little under the sea theme there. That's nice. Awesome. Roger Rabbit. Very cool. Okay, on my way down to the next level, I came across this room that has pin trading. So pin trading, take a pin, leave a pin. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take this, is that a Bantha? Yeah, I want that one. Okay, I made the trade. I took the Bantha and I left Aurora. Okay, I think I see another room down there. Can you see that? Right there. It looks like they have pins. So I'm heading there. <laughs> That's uh, floor three. Let's go. And okay, now I'm on floor three. We have some people that did like their little family tree there. Looks like we got a Tiki room one here. Aloha. Very cool. And now I see what I came over here for. Pin trades. So we got the pin trading board. Pin trading board. You know the rules. See a pin you like, feel free to trade. One yours. So let's see what we got here. Would you guys trade for any?
this part. Oh, there's one of those um, munchlings. I have that one though. That one's a good one though. I don't think I'm going to trade any of these. I don't see any of them that I'm collecting or ones that I need. So I think I'm going to pass on these. That much things one is good, but like I said, I already have that one. All right, I'm going to go down to the next floor. Oh, look at this one. It's got the temple. Look at this. I used to be able to just read these. You guys know what those say? Nope, I'm out of practice. I can, I can decode them. I still have one of the decoders. <laughs> they have four different signs there, and then I love this. Look at this. That's really cool. All right, everybody's lining up to uh, see the next guest speaker, so I think I'm just going to have to get down to the next level. Two levels down. See, so I'll show you here. So they're not letting anyone in yet, but everybody's packed in right there. So I got to get down there so I can get in that pack of people and find a seat. All right, and then we're back out in the lobby. So now we'll go and get in line with all the people. Oh yeah, everybody's cleared out of their lunch tables, and now everyone's just piled up over here. Look at these. cool little displays around here all right instead of standing here I'm gonna go around the other side this is the vendor area lots of different vendors selling a lot of like homemade things there's Bell and Beast <laughs> Got some people pin trading here. I can join them. And then this is the whole pin booth right over here. I already bought probably six or seven pins from them. So I'm gonna wait in this and then go see the next guest, guest speaker. We just got done hearing Eric Robison talk and wow, he's so many accidents that just turned out his way. It was crazy. Uh, but yeah, he did a lot of cool stuff, like the uh, Through the Decades, um, where he did five paintings of the different decades for Walt's, for Disneyland's 50th, I think he said. And then he did this 100 Mickeys thing. I, I seem to kind of remember that, where he did 100 Mickey paintings. And so that was really cool. He showed a lot of stuff there. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff that he showed. And, and like I said, so many things he just kind of tripped and fell into. <laughs> it's, it's great to hear his stories and stuff. So yeah, he was a lot of fun um, as a speaker. So that's pretty cool. And so now I'm just waiting for, in one hour, we're doing the, um, the drawings, the raffle drawings. So I had a charity raffle and you, you buy tickets and you have all these little gift boxes and stuff and they had a lot of cool stuff the one I want the most is the Haunted Mansion sign that one looked really cool um, and so I bought a bunch of tickets and I put I made sure I put at least one ticket into each box so I've got a shot at all of them <laughs> so I'm just waiting around for that and that's in about an hour and then then I think this show's done they have a dinner afterwards too but I didn't get the dinner so yeah as soon as the raffles are done I'm out of here but this has been a lot of fun I'm definitely coming back next year this is really cool one of the activities to hear too is uh, cell painting that's what it's called so I I did this uh, 
a Toy Story alien. I didn't have the right kind of green, but instead of waiting for the lighter green, I just went with it and made them darker green. Uh, but pretty cool process. You use the uh, the paint pens and. Uh, and then I painted him. This is how he turned out. I probably could have done a little better on the strokes, but, you know, he looks pretty cool. So this morning, this painting here was just kind of gray and black and white. And then slowly over the day, he's finished it into that. That is awesome. I love it. <laughs> Super cool paintings from this person. And you can see right here. We have these fun boards. What is your favorite opening day land? So Adventureland, Frontierland, Fantasyland, Tomorrowland, or Main Street? Looks like it's a close race between Adventureland and Main Street. My dot is right there. <laughs> you got another one down here. Just grab your stickers and and put them where you want them. And this one is, what is your favorite era of Disney animation? So what do we got? The Golden Age, the Silver Age, the Bronze Age, the Disney Renaissance, and the Post-Renaissance Revival. Now, I voted for the Disney Renaissance. Uh, I forget where my color... Oh, that one's mine. That one's mine. Right there. So that one is winning, but the Silver Age is somewhat catching up here but this is pretty much the end of the show we only have about a half hour left so i think the disney renaissance is going to win this one all right back in my car now the pacific northwest mouse meet 2023 is over they did all the raffles i did not get any of the uh the prizes but the main prize of the night it's one that everybody was entered in um with your your ticket on your on the back of your lanyard here. Everyone got a raffle ticket there. And the grand prize was a VIP tour to the Walt Disney Studios. And you can bring uh, five other people. So it was a VIP tour for six people. And they had two of them up for raffle. And <laughs> I was one away on my number. My number was 949-3244. And they said 929 Three, two, four, and I was like, oh, and then they said six. I'm like, oh, <laughs> so close, but that was awesome. I'm definitely coming back next year. This was a lot of fun, and I'll show you, when I get home, I'll show you all the stuff that I got. So I only traded for three pens, and you saw this one in the video. So this is a Bantha from Star Wars. This was part of a six pin set in at Amazon. And then I also traded for this Wishables Series 2 teacup. I did an unboxing on this channel of the Series 2 Wishables, and I didn't get this one, so pick that one up. And then I also did an unboxing of these Magical Mystery Pens Series 19, which was Tinkerbell and different flowers, and I didn't have this one with the tulips, so I picked that one up. So three pens that I wanted, which was awesome. Now for the pins that I purchased, I got this mouse meat pen. This is the one for 2023. I got it with my ticket. Uh, it was extra cost when you bought your ticket, but that way you at least get one. But they did have some at the mouse meat booth that you could get if you didn't get it with the ticket. And I also got this, this is the 2022 mouse meat pen. I really like this one because it has the small world clock face on it. That was really cool. And they did have one pin vendor there, and they're actually on Instagram, and they are my D Pins. You can go on Instagram and buy pins from them there, and then they show up at shows, it looks like. So I got these two hidden Mickey pins. I've been working on completing this Restroom Signs series. So I got those two. I got this Olaf mailbox. This is one of the magical mystery series 20 or 21 um, yeah, an old off mailbox this one's pretty cool and then i saw this one never seen this before it's the mechanical characters collection um, you have mickey mouse with a bunch of gears and springs and stuff thought it was really cool it's from 2011 
So, got that one. And then I had to get this one because it has Goofy dressed as a pirate, New Orleans Square Disneyland pin. This is an older one too. This one's from 2005. And probably the nicest pin I bought was this Evil Queen pin. This is a Disneyland Paris pin. I think it came out last year, 2022. Lots of detail on the frame. Um, it's a really nice pin. Disneyland Paris, 2022. So yeah, had to get this one. And then the other pin, which I guess I didn't really buy the pin. This was when you did 50 tickets or more on the charity raffle. You got to choose between a pin and a puzzle. So I chose a pin, of course. <laughs> and this one is Rapunzel. So she's there with a, a fancy designer dress, really cool background. So yeah, so I picked this one out and I have a few of these the pins from this series and I didn't know if I had this one so I just took a chance and picked it and it turns out I don't have this one so nice so I ended up with that one in my collection so the first guest speaker Michael Vargo is the vice president of D23 and he handed out these to every person in attendance so it's a D23 gold member exclusive pin set and I, I don't remember when this is from might have been 2021 or 2022 uh, but it has three little lands here so we have Zootopia really like that pin Cherry Tree Lane also a good one Monstropolis nice and then Cusco Topia and I've seen this set on Shop Disney quite a few times and I've wanted to buy it mostly for the Cusco Topia one and I just never did, but hey, sure enough, got it for free today. That's awesome. So then these are the small little five by seven prints that I got from the artist Joshua Whitman. So we had a lot of really cool Disney stuff, including that pirate, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean one I showed you in the video. So this is the Little Mermaid one. You have Ariel coming out of the water with the pirate ship and then the fireworks up top. I thought that one was really nice. I got this Wally and Eve one where they're dancing out in space. Had to get a Star Wars one, so I got the Luke Skywalker fighting Darth Vader lightsaber duel. And then this one, look at this. <laughs> this is so cool. So it's a profile of Tinkerbell, a silhouette of Tinkerbell, and then inside you have Neverland and the flying pirate ship. Uh, they had a, a aerial one of this too, uh, but I chose the other Little Mermaid one. And then I had to get this one. This is like <laughs> a classic one. So you have Maleficent with the dragon breathing fire in the background. So yeah, I got these right when I got in there. I went to his booth and saw these and I just got them really quick because I didn't want them to sell out. <laughs> So that was pretty cool. And the other things we got, so we got our my mouse meat badge. Everyone got a raffle ticket on entrance and then somebody walked up to me and said, hey, I haven't given you these yet. So I got a Disneyland Autopia driver's license and then they gave me a Disneyland hotel coaster, which was kind of cool. Just all these, you know, anytime you go to a little convention or event, you always get these little Little freebies, which are fun, and then they had a lot of buttons too. And I got a, a mouse meat first visit button, pretty cool. And the last thing I got is I finished the the trivia, the 16 different little hidden Mickey trivia questions. And then when you turned it in, <laughs> they gave me the they said, Here is your reward, you get some tuppence, <laughs> like some what? <laughs> so, but yeah, it's a Mary Poppins, you can invest it or feed the birds which I thought was pretty funny. So. so I hope you enjoyed this little outing to the Pacific Northwest Mouse Meet 2023. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.